In this video, I'm going to explain how to make magnesium oxide in a way that allows you to analyze the ratio that magnesium and oxygen combine in to produce it. This strip of magnesium has a mass of 0.184 grams. The crucible and lid have a mass of 23.767 grams, and the combined total is 23.951 grams. If we heat the magnesium in the crucible, it eventually starts to burn. By placing the lid on the crucible, we can slow the burning process and limit the amount of smoke that escapes. The magnesium metal eventually turns into a whitish powder, which is called magnesium oxide, because the magnesium atoms and oxygen atoms from the air have joined together. The chemical equation for the reaction is magnesium plus oxygen produces magnesium oxide. Mg plus O2 produces MgO. Now there's one Mg atom on the left and one Mg atom on the right, so the magnesium atoms are balanced. However, we started with two Os, so in fact we make two MgOs. We need to put a two in front of the MgO so that the Os are balanced. Now we have two Mg's on the right, so we have to put a 2 in front of the Mg, and our equation is balanced. If we now re-weigh the crucible, its lid, and the magnesium oxide, we find that the combined mass has increased to 24.068 grams. Let's now display all of our data, including the mass of the original piece of magnesium, the mass of the crucible and its lid, and the combined mass of these three things, and do a few calculations to make sense of all these numbers. The overall mass has increased from 23.951 grams to 24.068 grams. The increase in mass, which we can easily calculate, equals 0.117 grams. This increase in mass has come from all the oxygen atoms that have joined onto the original magnesium atoms. The mass of the MgO must be equal to our final mass, 24.068 grams, minus the mass of the crucible and its lid, which was 23.767 grams. This equals 0 0.301 grams. So, 0 0.184 grams of magnesium combined with 0 0.117 grams of oxygen to produce 0 0.301 grams of magnesium oxide. These figures can tell us a lot about magnesium oxide itself. As a percentage, magnesium makes up 0.184 grams of the 0.301 grams of magnesium oxide, which is about 61%, while oxygen makes up 0.117 grams of the 0.301 grams of magnesium oxide, which is 39%. In fact, if I had done my experiment even more accurately, I should have found it to be 60.3% magnesium and 39.7% oxygen. If you do the same experiment as me with magnesium, anywhere in the world, you'll get results much like mine. It was experiments like this one that led to the discovery of atoms and to the determination of how heavy atoms are compared to each other. For more information, see the links in the description below.